So, welcome to another video at Channel 2S. I am Second Soundwave, and I've made a kind of interesting discovery. If you remember, I did a video on the Frame Arms Gaia, and I was much, much, much less than impressed with it. My biggest concern with it is I saw those big white stress marks that appeared on every single joint when I bent them, and I was like, okay, this is going to snap. But then I looked at the plastic they used. This is a pretty rugged plastic. It kind of reminds me of the plastic they used on some of the weapons for some of the Beast Wars. Not Beast Wars, but uh, Beast Hunters Transformers a few years back. And I was actually trying to break this just because I was wondering how far it would go. And This ain't going anywhere. And I decided to see if I could get it all popped back together into its little sort of frame mode, and you actually can. Uh, you get all these, each each point where it was connected by a sprue, there's a little tab and a little hole, so you can reconnect everything, and again, this is a way more robust plastic than I expected. Like, this, I mean, it's popping apart the joints, but this could survive a drop down a staircase, probably. I mean, this is seriously robust stuff here. Much more so than I was expecting. I mean, you can, like, bend this, and it's much more sturdier than polystyrene. And you'll notice I have the shoulder and the leg and one of the wing parts off to the side, and that's because you can actually combine them, like I said before, to form an axe. You do is you, uh, looks like, I think you connect the joint there, and then you, like, tab this in here and swing this down, and you take the shoulder pad, connect it there, and I have a weapon the others can hold, and you actually have the parts make two of them. Only problem is you kind of have a lot of leftovers, which is a shame, but like I showed before, you can kind of just reconnect them back into a thing, so I guess that's something. Like I said, this thing is rock solid, and I'm not going to retract everything I said about it just because those stickers are still atrocious and still a reason that I really wouldn't recommend giving this to a young child, but... It's certainly, I mean, I think it's pretty good. I'm actually a little more interested in opening the others now. I'm not going to do, like, full live builds for them, but I am going to uh, definitely review them at some point because they're actually pretty cool. So, yeah, this is Ekin Soundwave. It seemed I was kind of wrong in my previous video about the Frame Arms, I'm sorry, Frame Robo line. I keep wanting to call them Frame Arms. And I guess I'll be seeing you next time. Still probably not going to be a frame, frame Robo video. It's actually probably going to be the Schwarbo Grays, but I've actually changed my mind somewhat on these. It's kind of neat. Not perfect by any means, but pretty, car pretty darn cool in an interesting new line. Anyway, enough rambling. This is Second Soundwave, and I will be seeing you next time.